So something really cool here, way deep in the salt mine, is a functioning church. Like they have mass here every Sunday. It is so big and incredible. Check it out. Hey everybody, Dave here. I am in Krakow, Poland at the Kopelnia Soli Salt Mines, I think is the name of it. This is actually one of the more popular tourist attractions in Krakow, but I get to do something really unique here. I can't wait to show you. Now, I'm in Krakow for a steam fest, and this is one of the tours they are putting together for the attendees. Are you Dave on Arrival? Yeah! Are you, are you Dave on Arrival? Oh my god, I'm Look, one I'm of famous. Your, I'm one of your biggest fans. <laughs> I think they don't normally let people in here after dark. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is a pretty special occasion. Nice. Like 54 floors down. We finally kind of made it to the bottom. We might, we might have more. Very important thing. This mine has in total 327 meters. It has nine levels, 2,400 chambers, and 300 kilometers of passages, which is more or less like a distance from here to Warsaw. This is a pretty huge labyrinth, and I am the only one here who knows where is the way out. So please don't get lost and stay with me. Also, a piece of advice. You can lick all the salt here. So apparently you can lick any of these walls that are not wood because it's just all salt and minerals. Tastes salty. One out of five stars. <laughs> that has been well licked. <laughs> That's obvious. The tour of the salt mines included many amazing things to look at and experience including life-sized replicas of miners and horses, several different chapels that were built and used by the miners, and depictions of famous Polish figures such as Nicholas Copernicus and King Kazimierz. But perhaps one of the most interesting parts about it was seeing the local legends of the salt mines almost brought to life. Legends including a princess, dragons, and dwarves. Something really cool here, way deep in the salt mine, is a functioning church. Like they have mass here every Sunday. It is so big and incredible. Check it out. Even the chandeliers are made of salt. Look here, there's a salt nativity. There's baby Jesus. We've got uh, stable, three kings, wow. Yeah, they have like the whole story of Jesus just carved into these salt walls here. It's crazy. The architecture definitely looks dwarvish. Like, I feel like I'm in the mines of Moria, for sure. So there's also an event venue down here, like 300 meters down or more, I don't know. This is where we're having dinner. Got a welcome cherry cordial. It's pretty great. This food looks pretty good. Do you think there's any rock salt in it? Yeah, it's in my mouth. <laughs> I know you're filming us. <laughs> So 
So the dinner was really good, and uh, now it's time to get out of here. Thankfully, we don't have to climb 54 flights of stairs. We can just take the elevator back up. <laughs> This is nine. Okay then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did nothing. Suck it in. This is all like cozy. This. How is everyone yeah. doing? Yeah. <laughs> So, eating dinner in a dwarf mine, uh, that chalks up to something uh, didn't expect would happen. <laughs> but yeah, that was really awesome. Honestly, the whole of Steam Fest has been really awesome. I have a vlog of it on my other channels. I'll link it below. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to me. Got a lot more unique adventures coming up for you. I can't wait to show you. Take care. <laughs>